coach and, and leader in the GPAC conference, and uh, we're going to miss Nebraska Wesley, and we're going to miss uh, his leadership and what he brings to this conference. Morningside College uh, football team last year, we had an opportunity to break 12 NAI national records, and uh, we, we bring back nine of 11 guys in the offense that did that. Um, we set a national record averaging 55.5 points a game, 662 yards a game, single season uh, yards rushing, single season yards, uh, and many other records. And uh, Two of the three guys that we lose are, are dynamic playmakers, and so we've got to find a way to replace Brandon Wagger. Uh, Brandon is, is now with the Carolina Panthers, and uh, we're wishing him the best. I hope things go well for him there, but uh, uh, we're looking for Tyler Cavan. He rushed for over 600 yards last year and averaged uh, over six yards of carry. Hopefully, you know, this is Tyler's chance and, and can really step up and replace there. And we're going to miss Devin Thomas. Devin uh, was an emotional and spiritual leader of our team, and, and uh, we're going to miss his presence. Connor Niles stepped in and played for him in the playoffs. Connor ended the year with 31 catches for over 660 yards, and we've got four other receivers that had over 25 catches. So we've got a number of guys that can come back and hopefully can can replace those uh, those vacancies. The offensive line all returns from last year. We started uh, seven different offensive linemen through the course of the year. All seven of them will return and uh, will provide great competition. Uh, Maya Bach, uh, Joe Brummer. Jackson Steinberg will all be seniors for us, and, uh, and their leadership we, we are definitely looking forward to. And Ryan Kasdorf, our quarterback, comes back for his third year. Uh, over the last two years, he's, he's averaged uh, his completion percentage has been right around 69 percent, and has led the nation in passing efficiency. Without Brandon, uh, we're obviously going to count a little bit more on Ryan, just in terms of uh, uh, his ability to make plays. Uh, and we will need him to, to be a little bit better decision maker uh, for us to continue to improve as a football team. Uh, defensively, we returned seven starters. Uh, the, key, the key spot being the two inside linebackers. They're both all conference last year, and, and Zach Schlugger and Ethan Stopper, and they'll be seniors. Uh, their leadership uh, has been vital the last couple of years. Uh, they've played in, they've started a lot of football games, and uh, we're looking for, for their strength at the inside linebacker spot. Feel we got a great crew of young D linemen returning. Uh, Luke Gibbs uh, was an all conference D lineman for us. Tanner Peterson, Sean Fitzgerald will be seniors, and we're asking good things out of them. And Nate Serkovich and Austin Allen also played a lot for us. And then uh, all of our D backs last year were freshmen and sophomores, they'll all be back. Uh, Taylor James um, was the lone sophomore that started for us, and Britton Barrier, Xavier Stan, and uh, Chad Berg in the defensive secondary. So we're excited about those guys. Uh, Logan Roseboom, a running back for us last year, who, who had got some good time. Uh, we moved him to safety, and, and he had a fantastic spring. We're excited about what he can bring. So have quite a bit of uh, turnover.